Now I want to show you natural language query or the Q&A feature. So when you're within it, your own dashboard, what you have up here is you have a input box essentially, where it says you can ask it, ask a question about your data. Now this is where you put in your natural language where you ask a Google-like query and you can retrieve information on the fly. Now, one thing I will say is that Q&A does not work if you do, if you do not build your models well. And that's the reality. If your models are not built like how I've, sh how I've showcased in this, uh, in this training, then uh, your Q&A just is not gonna work. You're gonna use it and you'll be throwing your hands up in the air going, why isn't this working? But it comes down to you just haven't built your model well. Uh, and when I say building your model well, it comes down to a few things. It comes down to, to making sure you use measures, so intuitively named measures, you're making sure your columns are intuitively named, making sure your tables are intuitively named, making sure that your relationships are correct. So these are the these are the, the few things that uh, really matter in terms of Q&A. It has to be really, your model has to be built well and, is, and has to be um, developed in a really logical way so that the, uh, the algorithms which are happening in behind the scenes when you type in your natural language query know where to go, know where to go and reference information. So what you can do with Q&A is, um, is you can find out information really quickly. So say for instance, your dashboard didn't contain the information that you wanted, you could actually go and retrieve that information by asking a question. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and find out, well, I wanna know what my total sales are for um, per county, and I wanna see it in a chart like so. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna ask uh, Q&A to go sh show total sales by county. And as I do that, it gives me some options. It gives me some options to select. In this case, I've typed county correctly, so now it's showing me my information for my county. And so that's pretty cool, right? Uh, the, that's amazing. You know, we, we, we didn't even really need to create that dashboard if, if this was the insight that we wanted. One thing I also recommend when using the natural language query is to actually use it in combination with these fields over the side here. The Q&A feature will not work all the time. It's just a fact of it's a pretty new feature and I think there's some development still to be done there. But if it doesn't work, that shouldn't stop you because you have all your selections that you can make over here. So say for instance, I wanted to look at, so we, we might have an example uh, whilst we work through this that would require uh, us to actually utilize um, through dragging and dropping some of the features in here. So I might want to see show total profits for quarter one, 2016 by county. So we'll see what this comes up for us. So in this case, it hasn't actually calculated it correctly, right? I asked for total profit. Maybe it's because, maybe it's because it's total profits. We'll see if that actually changes it. And it did. So that's a good example of uh, of maybe typing in something slightly incorrectly and getting an incorrect result. But you could see that over here the result was incorrect, but it corrected when I named I found the exact measure. And so that's pretty cool, right? We we are now showcasing total profits for Q1 2016 by county, and I can now pin this visual to my dashboard and I can jump back to the dashboard and you'll see that now we have that information um, in our dashboard. And we might want to actually uh, change this information a little bit. We might, want to, we might want to put in some data labels, for example, like so. And then if we jump back, if we jump back like so, we've got to actually pin it again if you make a change then we now have our data labels up like that. There's much more though you can do with, um, with the Q&A. So we've built a relatively detailed model. So I'm gonna show, I wanna show, show, show total profits, total profits versus profits last year as scatter chart. by county.
So now we're actually showing uh, show total. Well, in this case, it's actually total. Um, it's gone pro, uh, to profit margins by profits last year, which is also a pretty good insight. But if we wanted to say profits this year versus pro products profits last year, we need to make that change there and into and into that. And now it's changed uh, into the correct calculation. But what they did show me is that we probably actually can get a better chart here. So we might want to see. Um, we might want to see, well, what is our profit margins? So our profit margins measure is called profit margins. So I want to see total profits versus profit margins. And if I type that in like so, this visualization should update very soon, and it, and it has. And then we can make this more intuitive. So we might want to fill the point. Uh, and we may also, we can actually change the size as well. And instead of writing it, I'm just actually going to grab my total sales like so. And we can see, well, this is how our total profits is tracked versus our profit margins. And we could also make some additional changes to this. So we could add some category labels. And uh, we might want to we might want to make these a little bigger. And we can pin this visual as well. So, so we're starting to build out our dashboard, not only with um, pinning from the report, but if we wanted additional information that didn't actually exist in our report, like for this one, we didn't even have this visualization, but because we actually had the measures created, we got all, we had all the dimensions, we could actually create it. Power B, the Q&A feature in Power BI was able to go and run all those calculations for us based on the measures we've created and create the visualization. It's pretty cool, right? And so those are just a couple of really quick examples of what the Q&A feature can do. Um, I highly recommend just trying to, uh, just playing around and discovering discovering it more, learning learning what you can achieve um, by, by, by diving into your data sets, uh, by, asking, by asking questions.